hey guys welcome back or welcome to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful life of course in today's video i'm going to unbox the new nokia 3210 if y'all have been following me for a hot minute now y'all might have seen me unbox the 6300 model last year and how i wasn't really a fan of it because i ran on kios and with it came with a lot of limitations even with it having its own play store and more apps to explore i give that phone a 3 out of 10 but now that i have my hands on a 3210 mm, i might have to bump it up to a 6 out of 10 because one it works in the states and two it had youtube whatsapp maps and gmail which this one doesn't have before i get into all that let me go over the specs quickly because there's nothing to write home about so the new color 3210 comes with a 2.4 inch display a 2 megapixel camera and 4g lte connectivity but not for us carriers expect to use a micro sd card because this comes with only 128 megabytes which equals to a few wallpapers in one song the battery is pretty regular for this type of phone which will last you three to four days from my personal experience for the people that want to know about the ram it only comes with 64 megabytes so do with that what you will and yes it does come with an earphone jack i decided to give this a little makeover and as always everything will be linked down below hmd which is now the company that still produces these phones wanted to give the og 3210 a makeover and was released sometime around july at first i wasn't intrigued but i got hit with a nostalgic bug once again and wanted to give it a try because i used to play on my mom's nokia that was either the 3210 model or a later model that looked very similar the basic games kept little only entertained when i was at doctor appointments and such so this is how she ended up looking like it looks pretty similar to the other newer nokia models in that same aggy sound when you're scrolling so these clips here is me just showing y'all that my Tello SIM card doesn't work with this phone. So I couldn't use a lot of apps that relied on the 4G LTE connectivity. One thing I need HMD to add to these phones is Wi-Fi because this ain't it. I personally love my other T9 keyboard phones because I can just connect to my house's Wi-Fi or my phone's hotspot if I can't use any US carriers. Now the apps and features that do work is the camera of course. There's also a radio app but like who still listens to the radio though. Couldn't download any videos so I just recorded myself watching a One Piece episode. The music app works just like any empathy player, the speaker is just fine, and I was pleasantly surprised how good the audio sounds connected to my earbuds. I also tried to download ebooks, but that didn't work out for me. There's also other extras like the calculator, calendar, flashlight, and more. The games are probably the only redeeming quality of this phone with the exception of the music player. But the well-known apps like Crossy Row, Doodle Jump, and two others will cost you after you use your 3 play trial. So what do y'all think about this phone? Is this making y'all want to try it out or keep y'all away from these particular devices? There's a lot of other T9 keyboard phones that are better in my opinion, like the F22 Pro, but you could just get the basic F22 or F21 that works just as fine as around the same price as this one. I'm thinking of bringing back my older Y2K phones and make an updated video on them. So let me know down below in the comments what questions y'all have and make sure to check out my other videos on the F22 Pro and Nokia 6300 if you haven't watched it yet. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching another cozy-ish unboxing with me. Please stay safe and take care of yourselves. See you on the next one. Deuces.